What up, family? Good morning. Welcome to your card of the day. I am La Santera. Today is Wednesday, October 16th, 2019. And your card today is the Warrior of Blades in reverse. And the message here, the Comanche were an offshoot of the Shoshone from the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Both tribes were sometimes called the Snakes. They flowed forcefully out of the hills and became one of the most important tribes to reside in the Southern Plains. George Caitlin, the famous 18th century lawyer turned painter and one of the first Americans to live with the Native Americans, was constantly amazed by what the Comanche horsemen could do. On his feet, a Comanche was out of his element, awkward and ungainly, but riding his horse, he suddenly became handsome, metamorphosed into an entirely different being. At full gallop, he could drop to the side of his horse as pictured on this card, effectively screening himself from his enemy's weapons. He had the power to throw himself up and over to the opposite side if necessary. The warrior of blades is a Comanche in the screening position. His horse is a pinto, a knife is sheathed on his hip, and his knee is crooked on a Native American saddle. Two pines bend in the prairie winds and three small birds fly in a partly cloudy sky. The warrior of blades is active, skillful, subtle, and clever. He is the idea that buggles the attack. Fierce, delicate, courageous, but all together, the victim of his ideas. He is inspired without the benefit of reflection. In reverse, the message here is he is incapable of decision or purpose. Outside opposition will negate any of his action. Remember, in order for violence to be effective, it must be adequate. Otherwise, it is futile. How does one win um, a battle? How does one win a war? What needs to happen? What needs to take place, right? There's order, planning, methods, skill, strategy. There's a force, there's a strength, there's a confidence, right? And so what is this message telling us? How are our efforts futile at this point in this stage in our life? If this message is coming for us in reverse, it's because there is something that we are not doing, that we are not seeing through, that we are not following through, that we are not completing, that we are not committing to, that we are not consistent with. There is a lot of inconsistencies coming up for us today. There are a lot of things that we want to go after, but are we sitting down and creating a plan of attack. If we don't have a plan, we will fail. You will fail. If you do not have a plan, you will fail. I know that's harsh. I know you don't want to hear that. I know you want to wake up and poof, it's magically appeared, it's done. But that is not the way the universe works. That is not the way our blessings come. They come to us out of hard work, tremendous effort and dedication and patience. I love that word futile. Like it's saying that we are incapable of our decisions. Get it together. We have to get it together. There is something that we're not clear about. There's We are blocking ourselves and wanting to blame others for our experiences and that's not where we're at this at this stage in our practice in our morning rituals it's about taking ownership of how we're showing up or not showing up for the things that we say that we want i say that i am a writer i say that i'm working on a historical fiction novel 
But the truth of the matter is, if I don't dedicate myself and I am not consistent with the task and craft of writing, then what am I doing? Right? And so, the warrior of blades is showing up to tell us that we can easily fall off this horse and not gracefully. <laughs> not gracefully. You know, this is a Native American who is incredibly skilled and active and, and grounded. We could slip right the fuck off this horse and come down crashing. And so how will we rise today and collect ourselves and attack the thing that we say we want? Starting a new business, completing a project, going for that job, quitting that job, accepting that partnership, being in a loving relationship, ending a relationship, whatever it is, we are being called to be steadfast, to be calculated, to be methodical, to be organized. That is your message, family, for today. Please leave me a message. Let me know how this is resonating. I know that today is a little harsh, but it's the truth. You know it. I know it. Let's know it together. Um, I'm wishing you so much love. We're being gentle, though. Just because the Warrior of Blades comes up in reverse, it's, to, it's pointing us to where we are right now. But we have the ability and skill to shift that at any moment. Please leave your comments. Please share, subscribe, like. Share this message with everyone you know and love. And if you'd like a full reading, hit me up. LaSantera.nyc at gmail.com. Peace.